All right, I think I got everything. Built me a new target. <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to build me a new target. <laughs> Build me a new target here. I'm gonna start out like that. Put this here. See what we can do. What the hell ain't this thing working for? Thing broke. Ain't working. What are you doing? I'm just, I borrowed your nail gun. I'm gonna build me a new target, but it ain't working. I don't know what's going on. It's one of them new uh, fangled non-air powered ones, ain't it, with the batteries? It's not a nail gun. What? No, it's not a nail gun. It's an air rifle. It's an air rifle? This ain't a nail gun? <laughs> yeah. Okay, buddy. <laughs> and people think I'm crazy. There you go. Have at it. Guess I ain't building my target. What is going on everyone? Ready care and welcome to Off the Shelf Air Guns. That's right. Today we got the Black Bunker BM-8. Of course we did a first look at this. But today we're going to do a full-blown review. People were curious. What happens with the barrel? I mean, is there a cover? How the, how's the deal with that? Well, there is a cover. There's a cover on your barrel end right here, and as well as your loading port down here. So that simply comes off like so. Just like that. Kind of like a scope lens cover almost. But it's a heavy duty thick rubber. And now this is how you unfold it and convert it, whatnot. So here you have a little lever. You simply get this lever, pull it down, and it unfolds. And then your little survival kit case comes out, which we will talk about in a second. Okay. Now here we go. Stock. Barrel. Now, a lot of people are wondering, oh, well, does it, is it cocked whenever it's folded? No, because this is actually your caulking arm. Okay goes right down in there and you have a little lever right here that you simply do that and now you're locked in. You're locked into place, ready to go. That's it. Now it's ready to go. So here it is. Okay. Of course you got uh, some pick rail on the sides and top for your, if you want optics on it. I mean, that's, uh, I personally wouldn't, but it's there if you want it. Front fixed blade, there's no dot on it, so you'll have to put your own. Rear sight is adjustable for elevation and windage. It's very center heavy. It's not so much hand heavy or back heavy. It's very center heavy. It's not like it's crazy heavy or anything, but you know, you can tell it's heaviest in the center. Safety, of course, is your forward safety like we've seen on many, many air guns. And I mean, that's pretty much it. You're ready to rock and roll now. It is a gas ram, okay? This is not a Springer. This is a gas ram piston, okay? For anybody curious, let me flip this over and show you the other side as well, okay? There you go with that side. Now, to take it back down, uh, very simple. All you have to do is your button for your stock is right here. Simply push that in, stock comes down. For your piston arm, there's a little button right here under that lever, okay? Simply push that in, and then you can turn your lock and unlock it, and your lever comes out. So you have it now like this, okay? Get your kit, survival kit thing, if you wanna put it in there. I don't see why you wouldn't, but you might not. And this goes in like so, and you, the stock comes down first. That's the first part you want to deal with it. And this comes up, locks, that's it. So let me go ahead and take this down out of here again because I want to talk about some other things here. So that set up, there we go, arm, and boom, just like that. 
that's how quick it is. I mean, that's how quick it is. So the other thing I want to talk about is uh, there was, you know, in the early sightings of this at SHOT Show 2023 last year about a knife bayonet that came with it. It doesn't actually come with it. It's going to be an optional accessory uh, available separately that you can purchase, okay? But right up here, you'll see a little rail, okay? Right down here, okay? That's where that attaches, and it kind of attaches right here on the front of the barrel as well. That's where the knife bayonet will go, and that's where that attaches. So, again, it's not released yet, but when it is, or if I can get my hands on it, we will, and we'll take a look at it. As far as the survival kit box that it comes with, little slider here, just like that, opens right up. And there you go, got your little survival kit box, nice foam padding in there. Again, you can put knives, you can put that little bayonet in here when you get it. And uh, you can put a uh, tin of pellets, some fire starter, things like that in there, right? A little survival kit, put your uh, Reese cups in there too. If I'm surviving, I gotta have a Reese cup. <laughs> so, yeah, very cool, and it's a very sturdy little box. I mean, it feels nice and sturdy. I like that. And that's what's up with that. All right, so there's only one thing left to do go down to the range, see what's going on. <coughs> Finally, down on the range, first time in 2024. Super excited to finally get down here again. <laughs> and uh, we're going to start out with some plinking as usual. We are using the RWS Super Domes today. That's all we're going to be using today. To break it down, it's not bad at all, like I've said in the past video. Not bad at all. Here we go. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, first time on the range, 2024. Pating! I know you guys were waiting for that. You've been waiting a long time for that pating. A real pating, right? <laughs> oh yeah. I know I have. Let's keep going here. Do a few more. Let's uh, see if we can't just go for the gold and try for the black diamond out there. Ha! Just like that. Boom. <laughs> the old boom. No problem. Very, very cool. I like the uh, the open sights on this are on the money. Let's go for uh, the orange gong down there. It actually patinged it more than other ones. I actually patinged it more than other ones. I'm impressed. I am impressed with that. Oh, this is going to be <laughs> tricky, but I'm going to try to hit this one dueling tree over here. Ha! Nailed it right on the money. Didn't move it too far, but nailed it right on the money. That was great. That was excellent. Let's uh, try one of them bottles. Yellow. Ah, just grazed it. <laughs> Me getting trigger happy, not taking time to set up my shot. Just too excited to get down here. Slow down there, Billy. <laughs> Billy better not be around. He's got a few screws loose, to say the least. All right, let's try that again. There it is. That's what we want to see. That is what we want to see. Now, let's go for, uh, let's go right here with this in the center, patinger. Ping! <laughs> ba ting, ba ting. 
ringing the pating. Absolutely just thrilled about that. <laughs> All right, one more. One more, we're gonna try for that black little gong down there. Pink. <laughs> That's more of a smack tank. All right, so, <laughs> man, I'm just happy to be down here. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna head back up the hill just for a moment to run it over the chronograph, just with these RWS super domes. Then we'll come back down and do a little bit of accuracy. All right, we're back up here. Quick crony test here with the RWS super domes at 14.5 grain. Curious to see what this is doing. They claim up to a thousand with alloy, 22 cal. So here we go. Let's see what we got. 799, about 800 there. With a 14.5 grain, I mean, I can see us getting up there with an alloy. Almost hitting that thousand they claim. Once again, for those curious, because I know everybody is, I'm 900 feet above sea level, so it's gonna play a factor. 798, no big drop off or anything which is always a good thing, of course. We'll do a couple more just to make sure. Okay. 794, again, not a major drop off. Okay, let's do two more. So this will be one here. 748, oh, that one dropped off. That one dropped off, but I think the uh, pellet was a little wonky there. It didn't feel right when I put it in there. Yeah, see, there we go, 791. It's more like it. We'll do one more just to make sure. One more just to make sure. Okay, here we go. Seven eighty nine. So it dropped off very, very gradually. Nothing crazy though. Um, I just attribute that to the pellets probably because there are a couple wonky ones in there. One really wonky one that we shot. <laughs> but uh, sit for the most part consistent. So with the RWS Superdomes, pretty consistent. When we do the deeper dive crony test, we'll. Uh, use you know from low budget pellets up to premium pellets and then of course all the different weights and see where we're at see how consistent it is across the board judging by this and being this is kind of like a mid-grade pellet not too bad pretty consistent it's right up there around the 800 790 to 800 mark so for 22 and they're claiming up to a thousand with alloy i think we're doing pretty good let's get back down to the range all right, we got a target down there at about 30-ish yards, third, between 30 and 35, it's somewhere in there. Uh, gonna go ahead and see what we can do. Here we go. I am using the rest to give it a nice fair chance here. Open sights, of course. So here we go. See what we get. That's funny. <laughs> We're getting a pating at the same time because it went right through and hit the blade, the saw blade that's behind the target there. And the saw blade's not right behind the target. It's down range quite a ways. It's kind of funny. Nailed it, no problem. Here we go. We'll do five. Oh, I got a little jumpy on that one. Let it get away from me on that one a little bit. All right, calm down. There we go. <laughs> uh, ain't that great getting up a ting every time now? Okay. Two more, it's starting to rain. Of course it's starting to rain. I'm excited to come down here, it wants to rain now. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
I said five, probably do six. You know me. <laughs> it's always uh, never enough. And here we go. I mean, I think we've got a fairly decent group going considering uh, what we're doing here. Open sights. It's hard to kind of see <laughs> that far away to stay right on where we're at and all that good stuff. But uh, I think for what we're doing, it looks okay, at least from what I can tell. One more, you ask? Sure, why not? We'll do one more. Why not? <laughs> Can't help myself. All right. One more. Pating! Pating and while we're doing accuracy, you gotta love it. Well, there you go. From what, from what I can tell, it's not like they're all knitted together, but maybe some are. I don't know. Can't tell from here. But you guys can see it. So I'll see it in a minute. But that, wow. You know what? This thing, really accurate, like just out of the box. I barely fiddled with the sights. Of all the things that I thought I, you know, I would never have imagined I would be this impressed with this. I thought it was cool, you know, thought it was cool. Uh, neat little idea and stuff, but man, that might be <laughs> one of my favorite air guns so far, just out of just doing this, you know. I'm impressed, to say the least. Don't know what to expect with this thing, but I am thoroughly impressed. There it is, the Black Bunker BM-8. <laughs> How about that? With that said, we'll catch you all down the road.